what? I've got a massive surprise here for you guys. Want to see it? I do. Are you ready? You ready to see the surprise? Ta -da! Oh, that's not the surprise. Oh no. Oh no. I, I seem to have misplaced something. Let's try that again. Ah, yes, there it is. I didn't lose them after all. Hey guys, I've got Eeyore here, and that means I'm on my way home, because he's not at my mom's. And I've got something to show you guys, so this is the surprise. Um, I, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. Well. We run into it again. A lot of dirt roads. This has been a two hour drive that was only supposed to be an hour and one minute. Oh God, this is awful. This is so awful. There was a ton of construction. I had to sit there and wait in this like Terminex guy was being a wicked jerk and he's like making my trailer stick way out into the road so I'm like worried that my trailer is gonna get run into and then as I'm driving uh, Google decides to tell me that I'm not gonna tell you your next turn so we're gonna take you 10 miles outside of your way to get back to where you were because I'm not gonna tell you to turn around so it's been a pretty crappy drive um, I've been up since 6 this morning it's now 10:57. Oh, God. All right. Bye. No, this is not a place where you can get out of your... All right, guys. Well, we've unloaded the alfalfa for my hay guy. And uh, it is getting ugly outside. This uh, crazy tropical storm is coming in. And uh, all right, time to go. Time to go load up something else. This is a uh, Titan, at least that's what he's called at the feedlot. Um, he, uh, <laughs> he's a sweetheart. But we're here at uh, Davie County Large Animal Hospital and we just pulled some blood for Coggins. And we're gonna do some other weird blood work that's like supposed to take like super fast time. Um, this is gonna cost me an arm and a leg, <laughs> but um, to make sure that he doesn't have any type of bacterial infections or whatnot because coming from a feedlot you never really know how healthy your horse is um, no matter how long that they've been there. So uh, I just looked him over and he looks like he's good. He's got a good temperature. Um, this eye on this side looks like he uh, has some swelling. Um, it looks like somebody bashed him in the face or he bashed himself in the face or something like that. I don't know. Let me see if I can get a video and see if you guys can see. Okay, so um, you can see, it's all right, buddy, calm down, handsome, right there on his cheek there. You want to back up a minute? <laughs> his nose looks okay, um, but right there on his cheek here and up there and then over here, he's got a, a you know, a little scar. So, and I'm down on his lip here, he's got like scars. So, I don't know what happened to him. Um, whether he hit himself on the way of loading or whatever, but um, the eye's a little, uh, a little swollen. <laughs> and uh, but Dr. Castro says it looks pretty good. Um, he says it doesn't look like his eyelashes are good, so it could be just a, a bump and a stuff like that. Um, he also has lots of hay. He also has a um, hi baby, a scar 
right here. I don't know if it's old. I don't know if you can see that or not because I'm in the sun. But it looks like it could be just like a, an older scar. His leg isn't swollen. He's not favoring it. Oh, excuse us. Okay, so he doesn't look like he's favoring it too much. He doesn't look like he wants to park out too much on that side. Um, hi, buddy. So we're really, I'm not sure if maybe he's got an old injury from that. Maybe he's a little sensitive or he's got a little bit of arthritis or something like that. I don't know. We won't know until later. See, now you can see it's a little swollen. But, oof, that stinks. <laughs> we're going to wait for uh, the fecal to come back, the blood work to come back. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. You've got a lot to say. Um, but his eyes are a little swollen, so that's something that's always worrisome to me as far as his diet. So he's going to be on a strict diet of Tefe and alfalfa. So um, with that, we're just going to hang out here and wait. I'm not going to jibber jabber too, too much. And uh, I'm going to let him eat his little bag of alfalfa and calm down a little bit. And I'll be back. stately horse that will never go back to a kill pen ever again. Are you coming in? Are the flies bothering you? He's got a little bit of joint problems. I'm going to put him on some glucosamine. That was not graceful going down. But let's see how good of a roller he is. Come on, dude. You can stretch that back muscle. them to try to get back up. Come on dude, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Use those muscles. There you go. All right. Yep. Good shake. Awesome. Okay. Glucosamine and chondroitin for you.
<laughs> you gotta get those joints limbered up a bit. Woohoo! Got ourselves a roll. Baby County Large Animal Hospital in Baby County. That's who I go to. Um, Dr. Castro and Dr. Peacock and I know there's a third one. I forget his name. I don't ever see him, but um, they all know my horses. They've seen, seen my horses pretty much since I've ever had them. <laughs> um, and there's this really cool thing. Like, okay, there's, I, I like to get, do a fecal and um, make sure that I don't overworm because that's, I don't think that putting a lot of chemicals in a horse's body is the way to go. Um, you know how they do like four times a year. No, I don't do that. I do the fecal and if they are a big shedder or a medium shedder or a low shedder, that's how I determine how I'm going to do my worming schedule. Well, I love Davy County Large Animal Hospital because they are so progressive, I guess you want to call it. I call them super techie. <laughs> that's what I call them. And um, they just got this new thing that does uh, a fecal and what it does is I, I've got to look on my email make sure that they send me a picture of it but when you do the fecal usually the way we do them and I do them here for my guys is you take your fecal the poop and you mix it all up and then you put it in the solution and you mix it all up mix it all up mix it all up and let it sit and then what happens is that the fecal solution and the fecal eggs the eggs are lighter than the, the viscosity of the fecal solution. So what happens is your solution will settle, all the hay and grass, that'll settle, but the eggs will rise up to the top. And then you take a pipette and you kind of like, kind of, you suck up all the little eggs and you put them on a screen and you look at them and you count how many are, eggs are in this little square. Um, I did a video on it, I'll try to put the link in if I remember. Um, and then you count all the eggs in the little lines and then you multiply it by 25 and that's how many eggs you have. So, and determined on those will determine on if they're a high shedder or low shedder or whatever. Um, my guys, Darcy is a low shedder. Jarvis is, no, I'm sorry, the other way around. Jarvis is a low shedder and Darcy is a medium shedder. So Jarvis gets, he gets um, wormed three times a year and Darcy gets wormed twice. Um, Jarvis, occasionally I always worm in the middle of the winter and always worm, always do a fecal before you worm and depending on the type of warmer you use, you do a fecal afterwards to see if it's been um, effective. Because if you don't, then you have no idea and you're just giving, you know, warmer to a horse that isn't, it's not gonna do any good. So um, that's all in my other video. So anyway, they have this really cool machine <laughs> There's a fly. He has a very short temper for flies and horse flies. And I watched him like bob his head, bob his head, and then it landed on his butt. <laughs> and he did a little buck and he tried it off. It was really kind of funny. Back to the fecal part. Um, they have this really, really cool uh, machine that they just got um, that when you put the fecal in, it does what it's supposed to do. It spins it or whatever. I don't know. What the heck did I just do to my hair? I don't know. I don't care. And it does its thing. And then it takes an image and it counts all the eggs all in one shot. And it tells you. And it does all the calculations for you. And it's amazing. And he is a low shedder. Oop. Oh, no. Somebody's down. <laughs> I can always tell because he grunts. This is a good roll. He never gets all the way over. <laughs> Good boy! Oh my gosh, you guys! Good 
job, bud. Good job, buddy. Wow. He never gets all the way over. <laughs> oh, and a little cough. So back to that guy. Um, so he is a medium cheddar. So I know that right off the bat. So he comes from a kill pen and he's a medium shedder. So I can put him on the regimen of these guys so he doesn't need to be wormed for a little while. And then even better. So I'm a paranoid person when it comes to infections and so forth. And when you get a, cat, a horse from a kill pen or a private buyer, it doesn't matter. You should always, 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 always quarantine. <laughs> Especially kill pens. They should be quarantined for 30 days, minimum. That way, when they get settled, you can see if there's any type of snooty nose, runny nose, problems, whatever, strangles, whatever. You can find out all that without infecting your guys. So you must, must have a really big distance between them, not nose to nose. You know, they can't touch each other. They have to be really far apart. Um, so what... Davy County Lodge Animal Hospital has is this really other way cool machine and what it does is it draws the blood and well you draw the blood and you put the blood in it and within three minutes three minutes maybe that's the fecal maybe it's five minutes anyway within a few minutes it'll tell you as of yesterday so we're going back to the, the blood thing so as of all the way up until yesterday it'll tell if he has any type of bacterial infections infections at all if he's fighting any infection so if he's sick you guys get that it's really awesome they take the blood and it tells you if they're sick he's got a normal temperature a normal heart rate normal respiratory so everything else looked normal but that's why you quarantine for 30 days because if anything sick comes up in those 30 days the kill buyers aren't going to look at that they, they keep the horses for a week and then off they go and they either go to another auction or they go to another kill buyer or they go straight to Mexico or Canada. So um, this little machine told me, told him, tells you if all the way up till yesterday, if they're sick, if they are fighting any type of infection. So that greatly decreases the amount of time you have to quarantine these guys from 30 days to probably about two weeks. So I'm going to still quarantine them. He still gets quarantined because he's got a couple things going on with his head. I think it was just that he bumped his head really bad. His eyes are a little swollen. But, um, sorry. See, now you guys can see what I'm going to happen. There's a horse fly around. Actually, it's a sweat bee. They're a pain in the butt. There it is. <laughs> it wanted to say hi. So, anyway, uh, he is good. As far as any fighting of any infections, he's not sick, which is amazing from a kill buyer. So um, that just means that the kill pen was clean, and that's good. And there wasn't a lot of dirty horses in there, which is another good thing, especially when you're a kill buyer, because, I mean, most of the time you think of feedlots, and you go to, like, um, the one out in Texas, or the one up in Pennsylvania, or the one in New York, or wherever your major kill pens are. Um, they're usually filled with sick horses, skinny horses, lame horses, really, you know, your throwaways. And, um, would you go away, you little sweat bee? Ah! Um, and, uh, stop! Go away! <laughs> um, so anyway, he's not sick, so that means we're going to quarantine for two weeks, and then we'll do a little bit closer, maybe a nose-to-nose, -nose, maybe in three weeks, and then we'll be able to walk all together, you know, for about a week, see how everybody goes, and if Jarvis behaves himself, maybe by the end of the month we can get under 30, 35 days, we can get them all together. He's getting out of frame. So that's that. That's the new guy. We're gonna find, we're gonna need a name, and I'm sorry I'm a mess because I was cleaning out the trailer. I always clean out the trailer after every trip so right now it's uh, air drying and then we'll disinfect it so hope you like my surprise <laughs> um, yeah so there is somebody that's interested in him but um, interested is the main word um, I 
don't know if he's going to stay um, or if he's going to go. We'll see what happens. Um, but he is a life that we just saved from a kill pen, and he is not going to slaughter ever. So that is who they call Titan. I don't like the name. I think we should call him something else. So we're going to play that game that we did with Gracie May. And I'm going to put a poll up um, on our Facebook page, uh, Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. So check out our Facebook page, and I'll put a link to it. And I'll put a poll up, so I want you guys to send me your ideas for names. Um, you can also put them in the comments. I'll, I'll make sure I write them down and write down who you are. So, um, yeah. The guy is uh, not so bad. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, he doesn't like to be by himself. He kind of cries, but um, Jarvis is over there. Away from Darcy. Yeah, he's over there. So as long as that guy can see that guy, um, he seems to be okay. Uh, other than that, he just stands there and cries. But he's not like a, a Jumanji who would like run back and forth and cry, or even Gracie May. She did that too. She ran back and forth and cried. But um, they have another one there. They have another one there. No. I would have to fundraise to buy that one because I don't have the money to buy them. They want $2,200 for them, and I would have to fundraise like crazy to get that guy. So anyway, I am going to let you guys go. I am going to uh, turn off my water, um, and uh, I'm going to get a little bit of work done because Corner Addiction needs some orders to be fulfilled. And I will talk to you guys another time. And of course, you're going to have all sorts of videos, so watch this guy. We are going to be doing a lot with him. I've got to put him through all his paces, way better than Gracie Mae, way better than Gamora, and way better than uh, Jumanji. So. This guy's gonna be fun because I have no clue. What's your call? Sweat face, damn it. Drat it all. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for the surprise. Thanks for the sweat bees. <laughs> and I'll see you later on Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. See you later, guys. So I picked an apple from the apple tree. It's starting to rain. See if he likes apples. You like apples? Ooh. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, what a good boy. He bit, he just bit like half of it all by himself. So gentle. Oh, that's a good street, huh? Oh, I have a feeling you're going to live underneath that apple tree. Good job. He's like just biting it in little pieces, even though I have it like flat in my hand. Oh, you're so awesome. <laughs>